Hey everybody, this is Carla R. Jenkins and I wanted to come on to this live stream. Uh, first and foremost, I wanted to thank all live and replay viewers for taking up the time to watch this live stream here on Facebook on my business page. I greatly appreciate it. However, I've had some very big events that have happened over the past two weeks, uh, which were you know, reputation management, resume, and how they align. And I wanted to share my experience with you. So first and foremost, as always, yesterday I attended the HBCUConnect.com virtual career fair from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. And it afforded me an opportunity to chat with several uh, recruiters, both via chat as well as phone, because they could call you also. And I wanted to tell you about my experience. So the first resume uh, recruiter that I, I talked about, he reviewed my new resume. I went directly to the site to apply and I uploaded my resume. He did say that it was a little too long. However, he did say that it aligned with the positions that I was seeking, which were IT program manager. And that's very important because my response to that was, I always make sure I read all the entire job description to make sure that I'm a great fit and my skills are a great fit and I can do the work. Obviously, the way he was talking, it was like a lot of people just apply for the position. But I actually, you know, read everything and I thought that would be a good fit for IT program management. And that's very important. That's something I will... I uh, want to harp on with you. I know that it can be economically challenging times right now and people are looking for high paying jobs and they may or may not be within your immediate industry. However, the recruiters who are looking in the human resource are looking to see whether or not you're a match. And in my, my three fields are IT, information technology, cloud computing, and project management, that's where I center a lot of my job search and a lot of my opportunities. And I wanted to relay that to you because that was very important because you have to align to what the business need when they're putting out a job description. It's essentially a business. And you're like, we need this to further our business. And I'm very happy that what I was putting out there was in alignment. I wanted to also delve a little bit deeper into the combination of IT and program management. I've always been technical. However, I realized when I worked as an economist that I wanted to improve my soft skills and my speaking. I leveraged that into getting a competent communicator license from Toastmasters, but I always did the non-tech and being able to communicate and speak because I didn't want to be in that silo of industry jargon and just science, technology, engineering, mathematics, but not being able to communicate outside of the bubble. Therefore, for me, it just made a whole lot more sense to work on my communication and being able to merge the two is great, which is why I feel that I would be a very good um, IT program manager. And that's why I applied for a position. So now transitioning over to reputation management, I had two things happen to me on LinkedIn. First, the reputation management thing. So last week I applied for a technical opportunity and I had a first degree connection. So I reached out to him and I spoke with him. And he told me uh, what the job entailed and that he was watching me for six, seven years. So. Um, I met and I interviewed with him when he was at another another uh, staffing agency because this is a permanent position. However, he remembered me and he's been following me in my LinkedIn profile, which is extremely important because LinkedIn is the business social media and having a profile that's conducive to, you know, explaining what you do and also what you put out there. In addition, what I will also say is a part of... Uh, Reputation management is what you post as well as content management, because I feel that one of the things that just stand within the three things of 
information technology, cloud computing, and project management. People kind of know what you're going to get when you watch my videos or you, you read whatever I put out. That's the area. And just the fact that you, I, I didn't know that this person was watching me for this long period of time, but just the fact that he knew exactly what I represented and that it was a good reputation, I think, was something that I was, you know, was intriguing to me because, you know, when, and this isn't just exclusively me, it's whenever you're going to work every day or you're just living your life and you're putting, you're, you're showing up, you don't know who's watching, but the fact that this man has been watching me for that long is very telling. I'm very happy that I was proficient the entire time. However, I wanted to use this live stream as an opportunity to convey that to you, um, the importance of reputation management and consistency and how the content that you put out there, be it LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram, you have to be consistent because people are watching that you either are connected to, in my case, first degree connection or aren't connected to. And I also want to follow up with reputation management and what happened this week. So I... Earlier this decade, I was I passed the Facebook Digital Marketing Associate and I won a Facebook Elevate, now Meta Elevate, Blacks and Technology uh, scholarship. And I passed the Facebook Digital Marketing Associate exam. I had someone come into my inbox to connect with me or on LinkedIn over that, and he was looking for new um, he was looking for new videos. And, and new assistance in exam prep resources. Now, my video is over three years old. However, I do want to um, point out that just because you make a video on YouTube or wherever that people, that it's just, it's not static. I feel a lot of times when YouTube says that they prioritize videos um, that are 20, the first 24 hours, and then you get surprised that somebody watched the video from a year or two years ago. It, YouTube is the number two search engine earned by the um, owned by the number one search engine, Google. So you have to look at YouTube as a video search engine, video social media. People are always looking for answers and tutorials and people's experiences. And he found my three year old uh, video about Facebook digital marketing. And he reached out to me on LinkedIn, a completely different social media. However, that reinforces the importance of, of content strategy as it pertains to reputation management and how with that level of alignment, he was able to find me and connect with me. As always, you do know I'm openly looking for full-time remote in DC opportunities. So you can always connect with me on LinkedIn at Carla R. Jenkins. In addition to that, you can also private message me. But I wanted to come and do this live stream and do this video as an opportunity just to reinforce the importance of um, aligning your resume and reputation management, not just to get jobs, but other opportunities. It could be contracts, brand agreements, brand deals, what have you. Just having that level of alignment on what's on paper versus what content strategy and what you're consistently putting out there. And finally, someone's always watching. So give them a reason to look. Once again, connect with me on LinkedIn at Carla R. Jenkins. Thank you, all live and replay viewers. And I'll see you in the next live stream video. Have a wonderful day.